Good afternoon, everybody. Today is, oop, let me get it up on my screen, April 2nd at, what time is it? 12.15 already. I'm recording a little bit later today. I installed a new cable modem up here in my house to get the quickest, fastest possible speed, Dock 6 3.1 up to 1 gigabyte of bandwidth, so can't wait to get that all going. It is working, but I have a little tweaking to do. So I, I haven't been online. I got online right before my Google Hangout meeting at 11, just under the wire. It was really nice, we did it outside today and um, had a lot of good conversation with students. We talked a little bit about the big news that came out yesterday and it happened right after my Zoom meeting yesterday, right after I filmed my video, that we will not be going back on campus this school year. So we will be doing distance learning the rest of the way. This was a little bit of a surprise uh, to me. I thought that we might come back in May. So I was really hoping that we would. And I do think this is the right decision. It's a prudent decision to do that. It's, it's hard to hear uh, that we won't be back at school. Uh, we will be back next year. So I have that to look forward to. But I have a lot of really fun lessons planned for the rest of the year. We do have spring break to look forward to. Today is Thursday. So we just have uh, today and tomorrow before spring break. So um, hopefully we'll all get a chance to kind of recharge our batteries over spring break and then come back strong for the rest of the quarter. And we will be going through the last week of um, school all the way. I think our last day of school is June 12th, I think. Um, I'll have to look at the calendar. Anyway. So that was the big news yesterday. I'm sure all of you are processing it. I'm processing it. We had a staff meeting this morning and it was a little somber. Uh, we were sad, we are sad because we love doing what we do and we love interacting with students. This whole thing is foreign to us, just being on the computers and it feels weird, but we're getting a lot better at it. And we were all holding out hope that we would be back this year and so now, we can really focus though on providing the best possible education the rest of the school year because we know that's what we're going to be doing. So anyway, today um, I want to talk about red blood cells really quickly. That's your vocab for today. Make sure to copy that down in your notebook. Um, they transport oxygen to your cells. Red blood cells are red because of a pigment called hemoglobin. Hemoglobin grabs onto the oxygen molecules you inhale and carries them to your cells. And um, if you look closely at that picture, get all close, you can see there's red blood cells in there, there's a white blood cell, plasma, and it's inside of a uh, blood vessel. Pretty cool picture, so I recommend you take a look at that. You can find the link to all my vocab words on Google Classroom. I wanna talk real quickly about the assignments that I assigned today and for tomorrow. It's in chapter 16.1. Again, if you want a textbook, you can go on campus and get one. You just have to email Mr. Broadhurst, let him know you're coming. He has some in the office and he can check you out one. So what I did for your work today, if you go to page 363, looks like that, it's a chapter 16 assessment and there's 29 sentences and there's 29 words. So you are going to read the sentence and find the word that matches the best. Let me give you a freebie. Uh, let's see, what's one that I know? Um, made up of the heart, blood vessels, and the blood, the blank transports substances to and from the cells. Circulatory system, number one. That's your freebie for the day. And so you're, I think you're only, gonna, you're only gonna use each word once. I had that question during our Google Hangout earlier, can you use the same one twice? There might be some times where the same one works, but try to use all 29. So that's your assignment for today. Your assignment for Friday is there's these concept questions on 364 and 365. There's section 16.1, 16.2, and 16.3. I'm only expecting you to do three from each section. And you get to choose which three. So read through all of them, decide which three you wanna do for a total of nine questions, three from each. Okay, so that's your assignment. Um, 
Uh, the due date's Sunday, so please get that to me by Sunday. Make sure to click turn in on, on Google Classroom so I can grade it. And um, once it's graded, it'll be returned to you with a score of either one or zero. I'm gonna make sure to get caught up on all my grading over spring break. And then we'll be coming back uh, the next Monday with new assignments. Uh, we will just have one more video tomorrow. I'll try to throw one up there maybe during spring break. I see that Miss Lipson is now has some awesome videos, so be sure to subscribe to her channel as well. And uh, hopefully everyone has a great afternoon. Get out there in the warm weather. We will be getting some rain this weekend. Tomorrow's video, we will be recording the weather as well. Maybe a joke or two, and I think we'll do a giveaway tomorrow. So that's all I have to say today. I miss all of you, and I hope to see you soon in a Google Meet, or maybe um, out and about this summer when this whole thing has passed. It pains me that we will not be all together again in room 41, but um, I will see you all soon, and hopefully everybody as well. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, you might have noticed the song was different. I had a couple requests for a different song, so I chose a different one. That is the theme from Let's Make a Deal. Here it is again. Oh, it's a different one. This one's good too. <laughs>